This is the best defense against match coverage in the entire game of Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I'm going to show you this defense and how you can use it to absolutely bag the entirety of the Gun Bunch offense. Now, again, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I also want to let you know that if you would like to get uh, a little bit more of a detailed version of this defense, be sure to join my Patreon membership. By joining the Patreon membership, it's just 10 bucks a month. You're going to get instant access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks. I got 13 ebooks in there with more on the way. So it's just a great way to get better at this game. Now, uh, the defense that we're going to show you in terms of how it is going to work, we're going to go to the big nickel over G. Now, the beauty, one of the really, really cool parts uh, of the big nickel over G is it is very arguable that it has probably the best four man uh, sheds in the entire game. Uh, there's a lot of other ways that you could run this. You could run this out of multiple different formations. You don't just have to run it against Nick, big nickel over G. But in my personal opinion, if you really want uh, a good bang for your buck, you can definitely run this out of big nickel. You could run this out of nickel uh, 335 and 335 wide and all that stuff. But big nickel over G to me is a very, very good uh, defense. So the, the defense that we're going to share with you is the cover four palms. Now, uh, for those of you that don't know what match defense is, match Match defense is essentially uh, a way that defense is going to play. It's very common this in today's uh, college game, NFL game, even high school, where defenders are not wanting to just spot drop, right? We have zone drops where they just drop to 30 yards and sit there, or they drop to five yards or whatever. The, the beauty of match is they're going to drop based off the patterns. They're going to pattern match uh, as opposed to just spot drop. So uh, that being said, uh, let's just jump into cover four palms. Now, the adjustments that you're going to want to make, you're going to send a two-man rush. Now, the beauty of the two-man rush from a four-down lineman set is you actually are going to be able to rush these two outside guys. And the cool part about that is you're going to find that they're going to do a decent job at containing the quarterback. They're going to do a decent job at shedding. And they're going to allow you also to be able to play pretty good run defense. So uh, here's how we're going to do this. We're going to pinch our D-line. We are going to crash our defensive line out. So that's kind of how you're going to set up your base rush. Then what I like to do is I like to go ahead and quarterback spy in Dominican Sue. If you don't want to do that, you can man him up on the running back. The reason I like to QB spy him is because I have found consistently that, it, you know, because of the way that I like to run this defense, there's the rollout possibility, if, especially if you're facing some of the better quarterbacks, the double team on the end, and they're going to roll out. This kind of protects us from that, especially if you have a fast guy there. Okay, the next adjustment that we're going to make is we are going to bluff blitz Vita Vea. The reason that I like to do that is because what we're going to do is it's going to allow us to take Winfield here and we're going to man him up on the tight end. The beauty of manning up Winfield on the tight end is it's going to prevent any bunch bomb in the entire game. You look at any bunch bomb, the dig return bomb, the clear out SEL bomb, it doesn't matter. That one adjustment will stop every bomb in this game. Now, you can play some chess. You could put this guy over here into a curl flat. You could put him into a hard flat, or you could leave him in a quarter flat. 90% of the game, I'll leave him in the quarter flat, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to use this guy right over the center, and we're going to blitz him, okay? Now, our only responsibility, okay, is to get vertical as soon as possible. So what I like to do is I like to open to this side to kind of give the illusion that I'm going to take away anything quick to the back. And then I am got I, I am so responsible for this like whole section of field. Okay, so if you see a crossing route, you have to go guard it. So let me show you how this is going to work against verticals. I think verticals is one of the best plays of the entire game. And you're going to see how this is going to work. So we're going to open right there. And then we're going to bail right in that area. And as you can see, we're going right to the crosser. We're not really concerned with anything else. We have to really focus on taking this crosser away. Because what a lot of good Madden players are doing this year, because the user is so bad, even if you user it a lot of times, uh, they will throw it anyway because of the bad animations that you get. So you see here we get a good shed on the end. And then you're also going to see look, pretty much everything is bagged. Every single thing on this play uh, is taken away. Now we're going to show it to you. Uh, we'll show you another route combination that is very popular, the Z spot and go. Uh, what you're going to see, you can set this up actually relatively quickly. You see there I was able to set it up fairly fast. 
and then we're going to look to the Z spot and go now. So what you're going to see here is if you see Z spot and go, typically what they're going to do on the backside is they're going to have some kind of dig or post. So what I like to do is I'm going to open up here and then again I'm going to come back and work over here and as you can see everything to the bunch side is completely taken away. There's nothing open to that side of the field. It's very much so bagged. Now uh, another setup that I wanted to go over with you in this video uh, is essentially the the bench pivot type of deal or the bunch trail uh, for example so we're going to show that real quick uh, what that's going to basically look like we're just going to do this right here um, maybe they wheel the back you know whatever they want to do uh, what you're going to see on this is you're going to see that again we're going to open up to the running back and then if we see once we see the running back and there's no crossers on the field then we can easily work back to a skinny post so for example it's going to look like this going to go down looking for a crosser he's not on a crosser and as you can see even if we don't get back there um, if I click on right there I can swap that you've got good corners in mutt you're going to be able to guard that okay so you don't have to worry too much about the trail uh, concept again if you want to uh, you could all obviously check into some other coverages situationally like a cover six for example and then you could use her on the linebacker and then this guy will basically take the post every single time so if they're running a lot of bunch trail uh, cover six is a great play to go to another one that a lot of is very popular is this mesh post play and what you're going to notice here is again we're going to come right over here to the back we're already here and then we can bail back you're going to see that matches that wheel probably the best way to defend that wheel in the entire game so the bottom line is cover four palms the way that it is structured and even clear out for example i'll show you kind of a a real big time uh, cover four uh, quarters beater and you're going to see here that this is not going to beat it so um, you're going to see we got our main coverage here and as you can see um, it just absolutely bags this bomb okay that bomb has very it's been very good year in year out the vertical stuff not going to matter none of that stuff will work because the number one thing that I teach about match coverage is you've got to figure out who's the problem child who's the player that is going to cause the match to break in bunch it is the tight end and so what you saw is i man that tight end up i've locked onto that tight end now the match doesn't get manipulated with the tight end post or the tight end corner or the tight end uh, delay fade for example now the match plays very much so as it is intended to play and then your job you don't have to worry about any flooding concept to the right all you have to worry about is a deep crosser to the left and you're going to be able to pretty much lock everything down now if you enjoyed this video you want to learn more about this defense or if you just want to take your Madden game to the next level I would really encourage you to join my Patreon membership by joining the Patreon membership again you're going to get instant access to every single ebook that I've released there's an intensive defense defensive guide that I actually put together that actually explains the rules of cover four palms and cover four quarters and cover six and cover three match and three buzz and all that stuff. So if you want to learn all of that, again, um, you can learn all kinds of stuff over that Patreon. It's just 10 bucks a month. You can cancel whenever you like. And like I said, you're going to get instant access to every ebook, not just my defensive ones, also my offensive ones. We've got 13 guides in total. So I'd really encourage you to check that out. If you want to join the Patreon membership, click the link in the description below. I put it right down there for you. So you can join that right now and get access to all of that Madden 22 material. Thanks for watching and we will see you guys next time.